About 400 years before Jesus, there was this prophet named Joel. He belongs to what we call the minor prophets. Now, I don't want you mean think that means he was in the minor leagues, that he wasn't in the majors. The minor prophets refers to these 12 prophets that, well, their books were a little bit shorter. It was, instead of a sermon series, most of them give us something about the length of an article in New York Times, but they had something significant to say, and Joel did. Locusts, swarms of locusts had devastated the land. There was great famine, and the people of Israel were living without a lot of hope. And Joel came along, known as the prophet of a new dream. There's a very powerful several verses in the second chapter. He says, God isn't finished with creation. The Spirit still blows among us. And because of that, um, our young people, they will dream dreams, and our old folks will still have visions. Now, he was speaking to a people that he was afraid that um, the dreamers had fallen on hard times, at least spiritual dreamers. I wonder if that's true today, not because we've been devoured by locusts. Maybe there's something else about um, the technological, modern world we live in that has created a flat, drab, one-dimensional world that is not particularly friendly for dreamers. We're going to talk about that, how we as the people of Central can continue to be a people of the dream. We're going to have a special weekend, it's Labor Day weekend, but it um, will be fully alert and alive here at Central Saturday night, two services Sunday morning. I hope many of you will remember the special service at Hopkins Chapel Sunday afternoon at four. Hope to see many of you there.